Hey guys, it's Sassy Sky. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a try on haul. I have my latest Ulta order, my Auric order, which is Samantha Ravendahl's brand, some Lily Lashes from Influencer, and then I just have like a few things I've picked up here and there that I want to test out. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to haul this first. There's a few things that I'm not going to use on my face just because I have multiples of categories and like some things I don't need right now. For instance, I got face halos, just the original. These are my favorite. I love these for removing makeup. They are amazing. You typically just add water, take off your makeup, they're good to go. But I like to put my cleansing balm on this and then remove my face, rinse the cleansing balm out, and then whatever's left on my face, flip it over. But that's how I like to remove my makeup with these, and I'm at the point where the original ones I have have shrunk so much. Like, this is the regular size. And the ones I have are about half this size, uh, just because of, like, the years of having them. So I needed a new set, so I got these. And then my order also came with, like, a foundation sampler kit. So I have a bunch of different foundations. And then the other thing I'm not going to be using is the Cosarex Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. So I have two e.l.f. shadow sticks. One in Rose Quartz and the other in Champagne Crystal. I have a Kiko Milano Water Eyeshadow in 200. An Essence Blush in Believing the Essence Lash Primer, and then the newest foundation from Essence as well, and then a Shimmer Down Pigment from NYX. So that's like my whole Ulta haul order. We'll be putting that on my face in like just a sec. I have the new Auric line. I bought everything in that. Influencer sent me a box of the new Lily Lashes and the Power Liner. And these are their new, like, faux, 3D faux mink. I don't know if Lily, La Lily Lashes is cruelty-free, but I did get them sent to me, so I'm gonna test them out. These are faux mink. So let's just get right into applying this makeup, and I'll show you, like, other things I'm including, too, if I so choose. So I have my Auric order. I bought the whole collection because I couldn't restrain myself. I really want to use this whole collection and not really any of the other eyeshadow products I have. I don't really feel any guilt about that. This is like the thing I've been the most excited about. The packaging on the unit carton alone is so beautiful. I love the soft matte. I love the like background they went with, the embossed gold so pretty. So these are the Smoke Reflex. I bought all three shades, Defiance, Ego, and Temper, and then I also got the Glow Lust in Morganite, which is their like lightest cool tone highlighter. That just kind of looked to me to work the best for my skin tone and my preferences. You know what this reminds me of? And this is like not a diss at Auric at all. Recently I did the 21 questions tag created by Allie Glines and one of the questions was like, what's the first makeup product you used? The first makeup product I ever bought was from Avon and it was really similar to like how this packaging is. There was eye primer on the bottom and then when you flipped the lid up there was like a duo eyeshadow. This packaging is just reminding me so much of that from like a decade ago. I really like the frosted glass, the auric in gold. This top is really, really beautiful. And here's the little topper shade, and then when you open it, it has a seal. When you remove that seal, there's the product. I'm excited for these. So lately I've been using my e.l.f eye primer and I haven't been using my NYX Proof It. I kind of forgot how much I love this eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to use this one today instead of that one. Okay, I think I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Temper. I'm going to take this Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush 
And I'm just gonna go straight into the cream. I know she said a little bit goes a long way, so I'm really keeping it as minimal, minimal as possible. Holy crap. Okay, my brain just like farted. I can wear eyeshadow under this. So I'm just gonna lay some on this side to even out the fact that I didn't mean to do that. I've had this palette in my collection for a very long time. It's the Meat Matrimony palette by The Balm. And I mean like I've had this in my collection for years because I got it, I think I got it in like one of my fir very first Ipsy boxes. Sharon was wearing this in one of her videos and I loved the way her eyeshadow looked and she said it was this palette so I was like, I wait, I have that palette. I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 and I'm gonna go into Matte Lynn, this just like setting powder shade, setting powder shade, this just like brow bone shade and I'm gonna kind of sweep this through my crease. I'm sweeping this through my crease setting the eyeshadow primer as well as the glow lust because I forgot that like you can use eyeshadows with this product. And then I'm going to take Matt Thomas which is this pink right here on the same brush and really blend this into my crease. Then I'm going to take Matt Rossi which is this like beautiful and I'm just going to put this on the outer portion and sweep it through. Then I'm going to take more of Matt Thomas, which was that like really light pink. Kind of buff this out. I think I'm going to take more of the Matt Rose Rossi shade. And kind of just like focus this on the outer bits. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. So I just use like these first three shades kind of in order. These blend so nicely. They're actually like pretty pigmented. I mean, I only dip in my brush like the slightest amount, but I wouldn't say they're like too richly pigmented because after three shades, this is what my brush is looking like. I wouldn't say they're like the most pigmented, but they're beautiful mattes, oh yeah. I don't know why I haven't used this palette yet till now, but okay. Now we're gonna go into Auric Smoke Reflect in the shade Temper. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm gonna take this MSQ brush. This is one of my favorite Amazon brush sets, and this is just like their flat brush. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand, just because I picked up a lot. <laughs> I'm tapping this on my lid. I could honestly leave it at this if I wanted to, but I don't want to leave it at that because I want to use the topper. I'm just going to take my middle finger, okay these are pressed a little harder than I was expecting, that's okay. Now I'm just going to tap right over that cream, wow that's beautiful. Okay I'm going to go back into the matrimony palette because I feel like there's a hole like right here. These are really beautiful. I think I was expecting just like a little bit more. I don't know really like what I was expecting, but these are nice like subtle. I kind of wish the topper wasn't pressed as hardly as it is, but, it, but they don't have a lot of base pigment, so I can kind of see why they're pressed so hard. There's just like very little base pigment with some shimmer. They're kind of like Kaja, like the Kaja, Kaja trios, but not... I would say like not as sparkly and with a little bit more of a 
under like a pigment underneath. Are either of these lashes gonna work? Probably these ones. Okay, these ones are in the shade Mykonos. These look like really intense. Then I also have the Power Liner. It's like a two-in-one lash adhesive liner. Okay, we're gonna try these. I don't normally wear lashes. <laughs> Shake well, apply two layers. Is this like a clear eyeliner? Oh yeah, it's clear. All right, let's apply this. Dear goodness, you're supposed to apply two layers, so hopefully I can get it right. I would honestly just rather apply this to a lash, but it kind of feels like there's nothing going on. No, oh, there's glue in there. I had to test it on my hand. kind of feels like there's like nothing going on my eyelid though. Bend these while it dries. Kind of break up the lash band a little bit. It's a little thick ass lash band. I gotta trim off this last little tuft. Okay, now I'm gonna put these on and hope that it's still kind of sticky. Can feel them on my eyebrows okay so I don't know if it's because I didn't apply mascara before or what you can like totally see my lashes Wonder. I'm gonna curl my lashes now together with these I'm gonna add just a smidge of mascara I know I probably should have put mascara on before the lashes these lashes are like way too much Wee. I don't know who I'm kidding. I cannot pull these lashes off. They're intense. I can literally feel them on my eyebrows. They're too long for my eye shape. So the lashes. Probably not what I would have picked for myself in my eye shape. They're a lot. They're intense. They're definitely like dramatic and they remind me of like 2016 YouTube. As for the like power liner lash glue, I think it's like a good idea if you're good at eyeliner, but if you're not good at eyeliner, maybe not. Like regular lash glue works better. And I would, if you have small eyes like me, put a dot of lash glue on the inner corner or you're going to have issues because like even though with the slightest touch this does release glue, it doesn't do it very well in the inner corner for like my specific tiny little eyes. Let's continue, shall we? I'm feeling very Samantha Ravindal right now. Going to use the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer in the shade Morganite. Oh, this is, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at how beautiful the cap on this. Absolutely. Look it. Don't they look like fucking crazy? I can feel them up here. Do they look stupid? Do I look stupid? Should I take them off? I feel like I should take them they off. They look fucking crazy on you. I haven't seen you wear false lashes in forever. Since I filmed the Robbie D. Christie collection. Yeah. Yeah. I can literally feel them, like, on my eyebrow. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> Whatever. Back to the glue, glow luminizer. So my camera's, like, not wanting to fucking focus on this. But look at this lid. Oh. Look at how beautiful this bottle is and this cap is. 
I love the gold dripping down the side, the gold on top. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful so far. Dear God, Samantha. Oh my, I don't think I can get this off. Oh, there we go. Okay, um. Sheesh. That was rough. So I want to kind of apply this to my face first as like a illuminating primer and then also use it as a highlight. I'm just going to pump one pump out. I can see why people thought it was a foundation. It kind of looks foundation-esque. I'm just going to use my hands. Oh, that's pretty glowy. I would say that took about like under half a pump. Look at how radiant and glowy I look. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluron, Hyaluron and Aloe Vera 24 hour long lasting hydration in the shade 30 Neutral Ivory. Natural coverage, finish, and weightless skin feel. This was $7, so not terrible for Essence. This is the packaging. Put out a squeeze. Oh, this actually looks like a decent shade on the palette. I don't know what natural finish means. Like, is that just like, well, it's the coverage. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna take my sponge. Oh, this is a decent shade. This is a pretty good shade for picking it online. I would say sheer coverage. Haven't tried building it up, but I would definitely say this is like very sheer coverage. Very like your skin but better vibes. I'm just gonna put out a little bit more. I don't know if it's this foundation itself or the glow lust. But I'm looking very dewy. I like it. I mean, this is kind of what happens when you test like too many things at once. You don't know what one over the other is. But that's okay. Yeah, I would say it's like sheer buildable, but honestly, it's kind of medium. It's like sheer buildable. You don't get a whole, a whole lot of coverage, but you get enough. Really glowy and dewy. I don't know if it's the foundation on the glow less underneath. It's definitely like sheer buildable, but not like the most coverage. It's kind of, again, like your skin, but better. I can still see like redness, acne, like all of that. I can still see all of that underneath, but I don't hate it. I've actually liked this kind of coverage when I'm looking for a foundation, so I like this so far. Okay, I'm gonna hop off camera, conceal, set, bronzer, and do my eyebrows, and then we will come back for the rest of the products to try. I'm still super freaking glowy. Let's finish the eyes real quick. Matrimony palette. I'm just gonna take the Sigma E27 brush and a little bit of Matt Thomas, that really beautiful pink. Then a little bit of the Matt Rossi shade. This one. I kind of hate that these lashes like block how beautiful the eye look is. That's okay. I also forgot that Stila recently came out with an eyeshadow primer and I was going to use this today. And I forgot about it. So next time. I also got this Will Powder Blush Quad per the recommendations of Kelly Gooch. I swear anything she recommends I buy. It's kind of toxic, but there's no magnet, so you pull this little thing and it's like a fully recyclable. I think I'm gonna go into the shade Dedication. It's just a nice glowy pink, kind of matches the look we got with our eyes. That is a really pretty blush. I like that. And then I'm going to take my sponge 
and the glow lust in morganite and I'm going to put this on my face and highlight with it that is so beautiful wow that is beautiful I think I prefer it under my makeup just because it looks a little bit textured like right in these areas now that could be the foundation it could be a number of things so I'm gonna obviously keep trying this but I didn't notice that happening when I was using the about face liquid highlighter I know this isn't a highlighter it's like a radiant luminizer it's just kind of one of those products that can be used multiple ways it's pretty it's definitely like a natural glow it's nothing like beaming it's pretty I like it but it's definitely not like BAM highlight you know what I mean but it is really pretty I like it I'm not gonna like not use it let's try to put this lid back on because the lid goes on easier than it gets than it is removed the last thing these blew up on TikTok. I am really late to the party on actually trying these on camera but they're the NYX Shine Loud Lip Duos. I tried this one. It's a little bit too purple for me, but it's not awful. But I'm going to try this one. This one's in the shade Cash Flow. I'm going to take a liner. This one's ColourPop Oh Snap. Then I'm going to take the color, which is very pink. Kind of matches the aesthetic we've got going on today you apply it so this is like the high pigment base coat which is like the lip color you let it dry for 90 seconds and then you apply the glossy top coat and it says it lasts 16 hours all right let's put on the glossy glassy top coat and see what happens still feels a little sticky but it's been long enough I'm gonna put a smidge too much of the top coat on. It's supposed to not transfer now. I have a feeling it's gonna transfer. What? So like some of the gloss transferred. You can see that. Oops. I'm gonna give it a second to just chill. Okay, let's test it. So like the gloss is transferring, but the actual like color isn't. Interesting. I think it's really pretty. I like this shade a lot more than I like the other one. And it matches today's look. We're very like monochromatic pink today. I'm kind of here for it. It's really pretty. Okay, so that was everything. Let's give you a quick rundown. This palette, the mattes are really nice they're smooth they're buttery they're pretty pigmented they don't blend away they don't patch they're honestly really nice i'm excited to keep trying this palette out it's so far it's very solid the smoke reflect i like i don't know if i would say you need it i don't know if i necessarily needed it it's going to add to my collection of course i don't really have any cream eyeshadows i want to keep using this one and the other two shades I have not tried those yet it's really beautiful it's really nice it's a pretty easy after you lay down some mattes to just lay the cream down lay the shimmer over it's it's really pretty and it's holding up rather nicely so I like this I do recommend it because it's Sam's brand a little biased it's gorgeous from like the experience to shopping the website the launch was amazing 
the packaging, shipping, minimal uh, packaging when it was shipped. I love it. This is definitely like everything Sam stands for. So I really like this. I could, I, I do recommend this, even though it's not necessarily like what I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Like I'm going to keep testing it for sure. The lashes and the liner. So the liner is good for everywhere but your inner corner. Definitely use regular lash glue on your inner corner. The lashes are nuts. They're comfortable. I will say that. I'm getting used to them touching like my eyebrows. But I don't know if they're cruelty free so I don't know if I can actually recommend them but they are they're beautiful. The foundation. I like this so far. The shade was really nice. The coverage is decent. It's like what I look for in a foundation these days. It's super radiant. I would like to try this without the glow lust being under it but so far I really like this and for seven dollars this is a pretty good foundation. The glow lust itself is very beautiful. I don't know if I like it as a highlighter at least not today I don't really like it as a highlighter just because I did just try the about face highlighter and that one is so gorgeous so I'm trying I'm comparing the two but I really shouldn't be I should just be focusing on this product it's really nice under makeup it makes you really radiant it obviously like shines through and the highlight while it doesn't look like a highlighter like straight up it's definitely very natural and pretty the blush I mean I did just try one quad one shade it's really beautiful natural had its own glow to it really pretty and I like the packaging I didn't think I would but I actually I actually do I'm excited to keep testing this all of this stuff I'm actually really excited to keep using the shine loud really beautiful color we'll see if it actually lasts as long as it says but so far so good I really like it yeah so I liked everything I tried today beautiful not disappointed in anything I do have a ton more that I probably will be trying maybe like in a separate video I just got a bunch of orders all at once and I've had a bunch of stuff I wanted to haul for you guys so again I didn't try everything you probably will see at the beginning like the stuff I hauled and what I tried and what I didn't try but yeah that's gonna do it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed my try on haul testing new makeup and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video Bye. Holy shit, you cracked me up. I can't fucking film today. I'm having such a hard time. Is there a ghost in here? You're not welcome. Mm -hmm.